The hard part by far is manufacturing, not not designing the the car. Uh, so, um, and, and there's just not really a movie about that, but there should be. Um, so, the, the, in the sort of the um, you know, the movies will always be about the sort of inventor who invented the car, and then the job is done. Right. That's or invented the object. Uh, now the job is done. This is not true. That, that's the easy part. The the hard part is manufacturing by far. Why is it so much harder than making an individual model? Um, well, the, the, <clears throat> in, in order to make it affordable, you have to make it at, at volume. So you've got to make everything um, at, at higher rate consistently. Um, if, if you if you tour the, the production line, it, it, you'd have a sense for it. Um, you've got to have all of the casting machines, all of the stamping machines, as the case may be, the glass machines, the the wheels, the tires, uh, everything required for the motor, the the battery cells, all of the constituents of the battery cells, um, all of the silicon that goes in there, the chips. Um, it is the manufacturing is uh, somewhere between a hundred and a thousand times harder than making a prototype. Whoa! Um, and then, if you want to say like you want to get from, um, you, once you reach volume manufacturing, which is insanely difficult, uh, then you want to make the car affordable. It's harder to say reduce the the uh, cost of the car by twenty percent than it is to get to volume production in the first place. Um, so, I, I really cannot emphasize enough. Um, how hard production is relative to design. I'm, I'm not saying you, the design is trivial because you have to have taste and you have to know what to, to make. Um, if you don't have a taste and judgment, then your prototype will be bad. Um, but it is uh, it is trivial really to churn out prototypes and it is extremely difficult to, to build a factory. And how much more difficult is it to make this considering the body's made out of steel, it's a uh... very difficult. Um, the, the difficulty of manufacturing is proportionate to the amount of new technology that you have in a car and or in the product. And in this case, there's a lot of new technology. The production line will move as fast as the slowest and least lucky um, and most bullish uh, part of the entire production line. And you could say to the first approximation, there are 10,000 things that have to go right, at least, for production to work. So if you have 9,999 things that are working and one that isn't, that sets the production rate. Mm. Yeah. That's by far the hard part. In fact, the, 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 really, <clears throat> the, the amazing thing about automobiles was not so much the invention of the automobile, but the, the invention of the factory, the mass manufacturing. And for that, Henry Ford deserves a tremendous amount of credit. Um, uh, he was a next level genius. Um, and in fact, Ford is really responsible for the entire mass manufacturing industry uh, because uh, he, he actually found a Cadillac, which was the, the heart of General Motors, then got kicked out, then started Ford. Really? Yeah, and then everyone, everyone just copied him. Do you know he made one of his first cars out of hemp? <laughs> well... He used hemp fiber for the panels. Okay. Yeah, it's um, a this fascinating video of him banging on it with a hammer. Because hemp is uh, bizarrely durable when it's uh, compressed and when they take the fibers and I, I don't know what kind of epoxy they use or something to put it all together. But uh, what what it makes with the, the actual physical form of it is insanely light, yeah. like fiberglass light, but very, very durable. See if you can find that video. It's kind of crazy. Henry Ford is banging on, uh, on I think a, it was the hood of it okay. with, with a hammer. Yeah. There it is. So this was like, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? As well. I don't know why they stopped making them out of that. That was from 1941. Hmm.